Ryan here with Prudential Pest Solutions, and we're going to be talking about Carpenter B and Carpenter B treatments today um, and how to effectively and permanently resolve that. So as we can see here, here's some Carpenter B damage, and we can see the holes um, in the wood there. We can also see some of the excrement coming down from there, which is the yellow, looks like yellow splotches there. Um, that's because they don't actually eat the wood. They chew into it, they ingest it, but they can't digest it. Um, so here's some good pictures of what carpenter bee damage looks like. And this here is on a shed. Um, and if we were to take that wood apart, what we would find here is that the bees make quite an elaborate system of channels. And so they'll drill in and they're going to drill a half inch hole, as we can see. So this is kind of a side, a side cross cut view here. So this is what we're looking at with the wood. And as you can see on the inside of those holes then are the different galleries and the different chambers. And you can see that they're going to drill in and they're going to go 90 degrees to the left or right or both ways and make very extensive channels up to you know a foot or even longer away from the entrance hole so that's why when we talk about treatments you know a spray like raid or an aerosol yeah it might spray the opening but it's not going to reach all the way back there so the most effective way to treat for carpenter bees is to use a dust um, so you can see here what what we're using is we're using a, a puffer duster um, and we have some insect dust insecticidal dust i think in this case we're using tempo dust um, which is a product made by the bayer company um, but we want to go to each and every exit hole and we want to apply that dust and what that dust does is it does three things for us if the bees are in the hole it'll kill the bees if the bees aren't in the hole when they come back into the hole they're going to come across that dust it's going to kill them and then most importantly as we saw in that last little clip there with, with the different channels, the different chambers in the wood, but when they go to lay their eggs, when those eggs eventually hatch into new bees, they're going to come across that dust and it's going to kill them. So it gives us really long-term protection. And you can see an example of the duster that we're using here. That's a puffer duster. Um, they have a couple of different styles. What I like about this one is it has a, a curved tip um, at the end of it, which makes it really easy to go right into the hole there and uh, apply a little bit of dust per hole. Now, there's a couple other dust products that you can use. Um, one is uh, Delta Dust, Delta Methrin, which is a good product. Um, like I said, we're using Delta Dust, um, there's Alpine Dust, there's all kinds of different dust, but dust is really the best way to go because once it goes into that wood, it's gonna really permeate into those channels, which can be a foot in either direction, and it's gonna give us some long-lasting protection, much longer than a spray or an aerosol. Um, now, one of the reasons why the carpenter bees like this wood is we can see that this wood is not painted and it's not stained. And we can see underneath the shed here, the, underneath that flash, and they, they got underneath there. Um, here's another example that we see. So this is just a, a fence. Here's the 4x4. Four four, and very common to see carpenter bees damage this. So we can see at the top there, there's some excrement on the other side of the fence. So we know that there's a hole there. And if we look down here, we can see some sawdust, which is another indication. So, you know, on the shed, we could easily see the holes. On this one, we can't see the holes because they're tucked behind in between the fence there. So we're going to use our fingers and we're going to find where those holes are because we know that if there's excrement, just like that, we're going to use our hands. And we know that there's got to be a hole right around there somewhere. And, uh, and then we'll find it with our fingers right there okay and then that's where we'll know where we're going to put our dust and that's where that curved end of that duster really comes into play because you can really just kind of tuck it into that hole um, so even if you can't find the holes you can look for other evidence like is there sawdust underneath yep okay there's sawdust we know that there's a hole there and uh and the other one we can see the ex the excrement so what i really like about carpenter bee treatments is it's one of the few treatments that we do where within 10 minutes of your treatment all these carpenter bees that were in there are going to come out. So even if it's not a nice, warm, sunny day, when you treat, these bees are going to come out. So we can see here there were probably 10 or 15 uh, dead carpenter bees within 10, 15 minutes of our treatment. So from a, a satisfying aspect of knowing that you did a, a good job and a complete job is you can come back in, in 10, 15, 20 minutes and you can see that, uh, that these bees have been treated. And you can tell, too, because if you look at the carpenter bees here, you can see that they have like a white powder on them, which means they came across that dust. So key things, you want to make sure that you, you find all the openings, you find all the holes, and you treat them all effectively. Now, we're experts at all wood-destroying insects, from termites and carpenter ants to carpenter bees and wood-destroying pests like beetles. So if you live in southeastern or south-central Pennsylvania, 
Give Prudential Pest Solutions a call. We can come out, we can effectively treat and prevent wood-destroying insects from damaging your property.